You guys definitely read that title right. We're taking the Washington Commanders and moving them from Washington DC all the way over the ocean to Ireland. These guys are one of the worst teams in the game coming in only at a 79 overall and we're going to be taking over the team as their new financial mogul owner. You can tell that this relocation was well needed with how low we've ranked in all the categories so it's time to start the official relocation process. And like we said in the intro we're going to be relocating to Dublin, Ireland. And guys let's be real here. Is there any other option than going with the Dublin Shamrocks as our team name? I've been to two sporting events in Ireland. I guess technically one. I went to another one in Northern Ireland. And one of the stadiums I went to was just like this. So we're going to go with the basic canopy stadium. I didn't even know this. We didn't have to wait a whole season to relocate. We just, bam, we're already in Dublin. I thought we were going to have to simulate the first season. But that at least will give us some time to scout and get used to this upcoming draft class throughout this first season. And Norris Pope is going to be our top recruit our three-star tier and his position two expertise is going to be quarterback which is going to be our top priority in the draft speaking of quarterbacks let's take a look at our quarterback room jacoby Brissett, 30 years old 72 overall sam howell none of these guys are going to be our starting quarterbacks in the future i'm excited about the halfback position as we have a young brian robinson jr and then as well antonio gibson who we might actually look to trade as he hasn't really seemed to pan out for washington as much as they would have thought he would of course our receiver room we have terry mclaurin we gotta keep him around no matter what i love curtis samuel as well and then from there yeah we could maybe use an upgrade even though jahan dotson is not a bad number three at all i'm not worried about our receiver room right now tight end position definitely needs an upgrade logan thomas getting up there in age and john bates 66 overall we can do better than that overall our offensive line doesn't seem too bad we definitely need a new left guard actually center as well right guard okay maybe maybe the offensive line is pretty bad defensive line though of course we have chase young who we're going to try to keep here right end we have my to sweat and defensive tackle we have Jonathan Allen and De'Aaron Payne which that's a fantastic defensive line we have yeah left outside linebacker David Mayo I'm sorry you got to go we got to get someone new middle linebacker again not great and right outside linebacker that linebacking core can definitely use some help cornerback we're good at the number one spot with Kendall Fuller Emmanuel Forbes we could maybe hopefully look to be an upgrade there at that position but again it's not going to be top of my list we have other priorities we're going to need free safety we're pretty set with Derek Forrest and then strong safety I'd say we're set with Cameron Curl as well so overall this team isn't that that great we definitely have some positions we need to upgrade but we're gonna see how this season plays out as we're playing our first game of the season at home in Dublin against the Cardinals here we go the kick is off and we are underway our first official game here in Dublin as Dotson's gonna take this out from the end zone and he's gonna get it to the 25 here comes Jacoby Brissett in the Shamrocks offense for the first time this season as we're gonna open up with a pass play here on first down nothing going and Brissett is going down for a sack. Not a great first play to start off the drive as we give to Brian Robinson here on the next play. He has some room to run across midfield and down to the 40 of Arizona. A great big run there from Robinson as we're going to give it to him again. Not much happening this time. Jacoby Brissett's first pass of the day would fall incomplete so it's a third down and he's going down in a sack again. Couldn't get the halfback screen pass off in time so we're going to unfortunately have to punt the ball away here on our very first offensive drive. Time for Kyler Murray in the Cardinals offense to take over as that would be completed for a first down. A false start brings it back to second and 14. Kyler Murray back to throw has Hollywood Brown but he drops it. I misspoke that last play it was Marquise Brown as now on third and 14 he holds on to it this time as Kyler Murray in the Cardinals offense seem to be moving the ball down the field with no problems so far. Our defense would bring up another third down though Murray back to throw escaping the pressure Montez Sweat is there he can't make the tackle and Kyler Murray is going to pick up the first down we had him for the stop and that might have taken them out of field goal range as well but instead now the Cardinals are in prime position to score and thankfully that incomplete pass would force them to kick a field goal hopefully we can get something going here on this next offensive drive as the Cardinals boot it deep Jahan Dotson is going to take it out of the end zone here five yards deep he has some gap to run he's gonna make a defender miss there's no one in front of him 
Jahad Dotson is gonna take this to the house. What a return by Jahad Dotson as we're now on top just like that. And now we have the Cardinals backed up to a short third and one. Let's see if our defense can get the stop as it's gonna be a pitch to the right side and we are there. Solid way to end the first quarter for the Shamrocks as we'll get the ball back here to start the second. And hopefully our offense can do a little better this drive than we did last drive. As so far, we only have 29 total yards of offense here through the second quarter. We would pick up the first down on third and short now. Jacoby Brissett rolling to the right on the run. That's gonna be completed to Terry McLaurin. As we're gonna go to the ground here to try to pick up some more yards and get into field goal range. So at least if we don't pick up this first down here we know we can get three points out of this drive as we're gonna be just short but it's fourth and less than a yard to go so we're not gonna settle for three as Jacoby Brissett is gonna get the first down and that decision was gonna pay off for us as he would go to the end zone and find Terry McLaurin for a touchdown and we would go up 14 to 3 over the Cardinals I would be super happy if our defense could get a stop here headed into halftime as that would be dropped and I believe that's the third drop of the day already for this Cardinals offense as he finds his tight end wide open and maybe I shouldn't have spoken too soon Zach Ertz just gashed us over the middle for that huge pickup and now we need to try to keep the Cardinals out of field goal range here but I think they're already in it with that run this is a big third down third and three they're going double tight end to the left play action Murray on the run and that's gonna be caught that'll bring us to the two minute warning we're still up 14 to three hopefully things don't change here Kyler Murray and Marquise Brown are starting to heat up that's not uh, what we want here as he's scrambling we have him for a sack though at this point I know they're gonna get a field goal I just want to keep the Cardinals out of the end zone and this is a big third and 15 for them Murray back to throw he's scrambling he's looking he doesn't have anyone he throws it away and we're gonna manage to hold them to only three points here on this final drive we have 36 seconds left let's see if we can make something happen by going to our star receiver Terry McLaurin as he's open and that's a huge game that only took five seconds and we're already inside Cardinals territory but that's the last thing we want as we're gonna have to take a timeout here Ron Rivera does not seem happy 26 seconds second and 16 Jacoby Brissett back to throw that's gonna be intercepted that's the last thing we wanted to do maybe we shouldn't have been so greedy as now the Cardinals have 19 seconds to work with they're not far from field goal range and it looks like they're gonna be aggressive here third and six we could end the first half here if we just get a stop and we're not gonna do that. Eight seconds left, they're right on the cusp of field goal range. If we can try to get a sack here on Kyler Murray, that would be great. And we're not as he's gonna take off and take a hit, but he fumbles and we recover. Kyler Murray not sliding and that's gonna cost them. What a way to end the first half. We hold the Cardinals to no points on that drive. We're headed into the locker room with a 14 to six lead here. I'm super proud of how our defense stepped up to end the first half there, but we're not starting the second half out great at all. It only took two plays and the Cardinals are already down to our 36 yard line and counting as their offense Team to be moving with some vengeance here to start the second half as they're down inside the 10. It's only a one possession game, a touchdown and a two point conversion could tie it here as they'll be just short. Actually they aren't, that's a touchdown. And it looks like the Cardinals are going for two here as they keep the offense out on the field. Kyler Murray back to throw, he's looking, he's throwing and that's completed, they tie it up. Let's see what Jacoby Brissett and the offense can do here to start our first drive. As Brian Robinson and Antonio Gibson have been playing amazing for us today. So it Definitely looks like we're gonna have to lean into our run game this season if we want to win any games. That might raise the question too of if we actually want to trade Antonio Gibson or not. And I think that will just end up coming down to what his contract looks like at the trade deadline. Because if we could keep both running backs on the roster, I would absolutely love that. But this doesn't look good as Logan Thomas is down with an injury. And thankfully, he's only gonna be out one quarter with a bruised rib. This is a prime example though of why we need to go after another tight end to fill that second spot. Because now our starting tight end is only a 66 overall and we just can't be in another position like this the rest of the season. We have taken so much time off the clock with this drive as we are under two minutes to go in the third quarter. And Brian Robinson Jr. is only nine yards away from having a hundred yard day. Let's try and get him those last four yards here as he will and he'll pick up the touchdown as well. Your Dublin Shamrocks now take a 21 to 14 lead. That would wrap up the third quarter of play as we head into the fourth with a 21 to 14 lead. 
We were starting this quarter on a good note as well as we had the Cardinals offense to a third and six. Murray back to throw. He would look and that's incomplete as we would come out and force a three and out for the Cardinals. My goal for this drive is to take off as much time of the clock as possible with Robinson. This Cardinals defense has not shown at all today that they're able to stop him or Antonio Gibson. 167 rushing yards. That is insane so far as I love how this team is looking to start the season. And I think if we can keep playing like this, we might actually be able to compete for the playoffs. Of course, that wouldn't be ideal as we want a high draft pick for a new quarterback, but we'll see how this season goes as we have a third in inches and Brian Robinson's gonna pick up the first as we are officially under five minutes to go in this game. We have yet to pass the ball a single time this drive yet, but on third and four, we'll pass it for the first time as that's gonna be completed to Logan Thomas for the first. Coming back off the bench with his injury to make that big reception for us as that first down would let us run this clock all the way down to the two minute warning after this play and we're pretty close to winning our first game as the Dublin Shamrocks a big third down for us let's see if Brian Robinson can get it he will don't score oh did he go backwards he did fourth and inches this is really risky it could backfire if we don't get it but we're going for the QB sneak and we get it first and goal Arizona only has one timeout left as they're gonna use it after this play or actually not we're gonna have an injury timeout so we use one that sucks as Arizona still has one timeout left and now hopefully they're gonna use it and they do third and goal we could seal this game with a touchdown right here but we're gonna be short it's weird that coach is actually suggesting that we go for it but we're gonna play it safe and just take our three points. Up by 10 with a minute left to go. Time to see if we can stop this Cardinals offense. Murray back to throw on first and 10 as he's rolling out of the pocket. He's going to find his receiver for a first down. But Montez Sweat goes down with an injury. That's not good for us at all. Looks like it's hopefully just a cramp or something minor. We'll check that injury at the end of the game. Hopefully he's not out for an extended period of time or even next week at all as Murray back to throw. He has a receiver open as they're not able to hold on to it. And Montez Sweat only has a Foot contusion will return soon. That's all right. We'll sub him out the rest of the game. He'll be back next week at least. Second and 10 now for the Cardinals offense. Play action. We are there for a sack. And they're running no huddle here after that. 30 seconds to go in counting. Murray back to throw. He's looking. He's throwing deep. And that's going to be intercepted by Forrest as that's gonna seal the game for us. Jacoby Brissett and the Shamrocks offense will come out and take a knee. And what a way to open up our inaugural season in Dublin as we're gonna get the 24 to 14 win over the Cardinals here at our first ever home game. Slow day for Jacoby Brissett, eight for 11, 98 yards, one touchdown and an interception. But again, passing game, that wasn't the focus today. What was the focus was the run game and Brian Robinson had 141 yards one touchdown, averaged 5.6 yards per carry, and Antonio Gibson had 46 yards on six attempts and averaged almost eight yards. That's insane. Defensive Cody Barton surprisingly led the way. He's one of the players we're looking to replace in our linebacking core. Kendall Fuller right behind him with four, and Derek Forrest with two, and of course, the game at ceiling interception. So that first week was exciting, but we're headed back over to the States for week two. As next episode, we'll see if we can pick up our second win of the season as we'll be taking on the Denver Broncos.